Hey folks, how are you doing? Couldn't resist today and I, f I forgot about one piece of a one that I had left over. I actually sent the rest of them for a heat today. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. If I'm gonna just send them separate and ask them to do it together. Wait a day. So I did uh, one design that I've seen a lot of times repeating in the, in the contest ideas. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people like those... Uh, I call them... I call them reverse tantos. This is just Max, you know, uh, super-sized reverse tanto, and uh, wow, it can't even fit into the frame. This is what I did. Now, nice tape up front, the reverse tanto, that nice continuous swoop. How come it can't even... There we go, okay, it is in the frame actually, I just didn't have it widescreen on the phone. So there it is, my handle. One difference I did, since it's kind of like angled shape, I did the angled pommel on it. I'll probably do the handle going like this. The handle and this will have like cut out in the radius. Like this, so this will be exposed and this will be handle. Something like that. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. A uh, bunch of people did the holes in the blade. I'm not sure if it's not going to be a weak point. But I said screw it, let's try it. So I did the three holes. Also I like how it looks on this blade because I uh, reverse stunt always remind me for some reason Rhino, no? So it's kind of like an eye for it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. B bunch of people had this design. A lot of people actually didn't take into account how wide the steel is. So you actually have to fit the blade design into that steel when you're working with the knives like I do. You can just go crazy with the shapes, it, uh, the curves cannot be so pronounced. But I think it's still a good looking blade. Nice, nice uh, plunge line, it's gonna be full high convex. And it's pretty sweet. What I'm gonna try on this one actually, uh, kinda by accident it's gonna happen. It happened by accident, but I'm gonna try to have a really thinner grind here and thicker here. You can see it by that edge how thick that edge is here now, before the heat and how thinner is here. So if I keep going the same direction, it's gonna mean that the, the edge on the front will be thicker than up here in the heel for the final cutting. So, kinda by accident, by but a good mistake, so we'll see how that goes. I like this one, it's very cool looking. Uh, should be, I always said it, as long as you grind the knife well, if the handle is comfortable and functional, and if the shape isn't something crazy crazy, no matter what the shape is, if it's one of the basic shapes, there's only so much you can do, it's gonna cut well and it's gonna perform well. I always said that, I always, that was always my opinion, you know. If the grind is good for, uh, depending on what you plan to do with the knife, it doesn't really matter what kind of shape the blade is. It's really just a personal preference. Uh, I like this one, it's gonna be interesting. A little more it's in the similar lines like those, you know, competition choppers with the straight front or the chisel, kind of like a chisel looking knives, but uh, with a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, look to it, a little better looking, but it's very similar in the concept of it. So I hope you like it guys, let me know what you think, take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.